Hello everybody, today we are going to perform an activity, it is titled Conductivity of Water. So what we basically need is a battery of this kind, an LED bulb or any other electrical object, and a glass of pure water, a pinch of salt, and spoon for stirring. So first, we begin by connecting the battery to the LED bulb. You know? You can take any other electrical object you want, such as a motor fan or even an, a ceiling bulb, and it can be of your choice. And I've taken an LED bulb because I like it very much. So, now we're almost done to it. And here. So now we have to bring the glass of pure water here and dip these two wires inside and you can see that the LED bulb is glowing but not so perfectly just a bit. Now we should remove these wires from here and add this salt into this pure water. And you have to stir it well and mix it well so that the salt dissolves in the water. And here it is. And now if you get to keep these wires in here, you can see that the bulb is glowing too much. And this electricity is up to its max level. And here it is. It's glowing absolutely fine. And this is the process. So what basically is here is that this experiment shows that pure water is a bad conductor of electricity and salt water is a very good conductor of electricity. Explanation of this activity, when the bulb glowed only when salt was added to the solution because salt is NaCl and, and it contains sodium positive ions and chlorine negative ions. When electricity was passed to the salt solution like this, then salt got disassociated into sodium positive and chlorine negative ions. As a result, the sodium positive ions start moving to the negative terminal of the cathode. That is over here. They were just they're moving the cathode and the chlorine and negative ions start moving towards the positive terminal of the anode. When the sodium positive ions reach the cathode, they gain electrons, and when chlorine negative ions reach anode, they lose electrons. Hence, the electrons start moving inside the salt solution and electricity starts passing through them and the bulb glows. On the contrary, distilled water does not contain any electrons and hence the circuit is not complete for the bulb to grow. Okay guys, for such more experiments of this kind, please stay tuned to my channel and please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching the video, you may like it or share it. Please support me through my YouTube journey. Thank you.